Hello, wonderful people of Ghana. This is your uh, girl, Aja Sharifa. Um, today, I'm just here briefly. Um, I know many of you said my videos are long. Sometimes you just have to be very, very um, uh, expressive for people to understand where you are coming from. So, please pardon me. Sometimes I don't mean to make a long video. I know you're complaining of your phone credits to so listen to it. That means that you people are committed. And uh, I just want to take time to um, thank every one of you who watch it um, across the globe. I get a lot of um, uh, messages that are very, very, very encouraging. And uh, I promise never to stop. Many of you are worried that um, I may stop sometime. I'm not stopping. I believe in my town and... As far as I'm concerned, I would continue to do my best to make sure that the best is saved uh, for the people of Dagbon. So thank you so much for uh, your support and your love. And for you, those who are threatening me and insulting me around, unfortunately, uh, I'm not the type who you can scare with your threats. Um, I'm a nitto. My last blood is out of my veins. I'm not stopping. So save yourself your threats. If you don't believe in what I do, you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to watch me speak. And you don't have to bother yourself about that. Um, many of you know that what I say is the truth. And those who cannot stand the truth will definitely uh, criticize me. So it's welcome. But the threats is what I'm just here to clarify for you to know that I'm as stubborn as a rock. Just like you people think you are. Just the difference between myself and you is that I don't use that to do bad and negative things. I use that to empower myself and other people who are around me. And to do good for my nation and my town. So whatever you're doing is your problem. I'm not afraid of you. Um, Allah is behind me. A lot of the good ones are behind me. So therefore I have no fear. I have no time to go and sit somewhere to get protection from your gods or to get protection from Juju. But my five times, um, my five daily prayers, inshallah, is enough for me. So save yourself your threats. Now, this is just a small warning to you people abroad helping this voice. Many of you may not know that Sakawa is a trait to many people abroad. And those who are involved would know that their secret is out. There are many of us abroad here, especially um, in America, let me be precise, that influence this by stealing people's credit cards and sending to these boys to do the purchases and all that. Or they steal their credit card and they give it to them. They buy the stuff and route it to their addresses and they would then sell it and send the money to them and they share it. Please, let's stop this. It is a crime. For many of you who are asking what Sakawa is, Sakawa is a house of 10 meaning stealing, robbing, 419. It is not a job. It's not a trade. It's not a business. It's not something we should be proud of. My Nigerian people, you are familiar with it, and it's called 419 in Nigeria. This, is, this used not to be a Ghanaian thing, and it's not Ghanaian. So wherever it's coming from, let's leave it to them. But as far as I am a consent citizen who believe in my country and in my town, I would continue to speak against these things until it's corrected. Those who are sympathizing with these criminals, I pity you all. It's sad and it's a shame. This is a crime we all witness life to the extent that they video themselves and put it out. And they even question that they are doing it to see who would ask. Now they are being asked, confronted, and we are getting to know who the real men are. So please, let's not sabotage this. It is a good cause and then an oppression that will clean our streets. We want you all to come together for us to help these boys. They need us and the girls. They need us. This is not something that should be happening in Tamale. 
morally, religiously, we're very, very grounded. So I don't think this should happen. Do not sabotage it. Do not see the original minister as your enemy or myself as your enemy. If I do not care for the well-being of this case, I will not be depriving myself sleep, trying to find ways to solve this. Besides, they have a future. Let's give them the opportunity to be our future leaders. Many of you are seeing what is happening. Day in and day out, a lot of our elderly ones are dying. We are going to represent them. So what would happen? What would be the future of the uh, coming generations? So please, let's fight it. Let's come together and fight it. We are not bullying anybody. We just don't come out and talk because we know how to speak. But this is things we know are happening and are witnessing. We want to stop it. So come out and support it and do not condemn the action. The threats, stop it. It will not stop me. I'm not afraid of your threats. So please stop it. And those abroad, as I said, it is a warning. If you don't stop it, I'm investigating. And wallahi, you will find the law enforcement agencies knocking on your door. And don't be surprised when the dawn um, arrives. You wake up in jail, just like these boys are, are sleeping and waking too. So please, let's help clean our streets. To the extent that they are attacking people now and robbing them. Tamale used not to have robbers like that. So it means that it's getting bad day by day. If we do not stop it, it will spread. And who knows who will be the next victim. If you think they are stealing from the white man or from people abroad, don't forget that you have relatives like us who are abroad. We might be their victims. We might be their next victim. And if they don't get to steal from anybody here, they will tend to home. Let's pray that these people do not have access to us this much. Please. So um, I just want to plead to everybody to bear with um, the uh, 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 government with this um, operation and just let it go smoothly. Those you believe are innocent will be processed and let go. We are not just going to have them and not interrogate them or investigate them. There will be some sort of uh, justice done. So if you don't and you want to use force, then it will spoil everything. Okay? Allow them to do their job. And uh, as for me, I will continue to do what I am born to do. I mean, I'm not being uh, arrogant or disrespectful. That I know my father will personally put a bullet through my head if I should dare. And so I'm very proud to say that I'm fighting for what I believe is my right. And it's going to give me back my dignity that is that I'm losing every day because of some uh, uh, stupid person's actions. So please, people of Dagon, let's help fight against Sakawa. Let's help fight against female uh, um, uh, 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 misconduct. Let's help fight um, this robbery that's going on in Tamale. Let's help fight against the disrespect of our elders, religious leaders, and our chiefs is too much. The humiliation is too much. The insults is too much. The disrespect is too much. And as we keep watching on, we never know where it's taking us. And let's not wait until then. So on that note, I say thank you to everybody who follows my videos, everybody who has taken time to watch and to send me a message. I uh, keep them coming. I derive my strength from what you guys put out there. Thank you so much. I read every comment, including um, uh, the pages. I read your comments. Those who um, think they can stop me, stop wasting your time. Sakawa would never win against the government and me and the good people of Dagon and Ghana. On that note, shalom. Salaamu alaikum.